all right welcome back to my channel i'm don and today i'm going to start a series um trying to cover everything in detail from getting the artwork from a website to preparing that artwork getting the artwork onto silhouette studio uh, we're going to use the trace and detach feature uh, using the offset feature for like making die cut stickers sending your artwork to the cut tab to prepare it uh, to be cut out and we're going to show cutting it out on the cameo 4. in that vi video on the cameo 4 i'm going to show you how to install your blade and how to make sure everything's set up correctly uh, so that you can you can be prepared and have a good cut and hopefully you'll see that it's not really as hard as it looks okay so let's get started uh, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're you know where you're going to be putting any artwork that you download um, I like to have uh, a, a separate folder for all of that artwork and you can do you know several different things inside of that folder uh, but have one place that you always take everything to and then you can separate it out in there you know if you want to separate animals from you know pictures from you know different things but um, so we're going to create a folder on our desktop and to do that you're just going to right click on your desktop go down to new hit folder and we'll just put uh, let's just put uh, oops new artwork so we'll we'll put that right there and I'm just going to delete this one get rid of it but um so new artwork so now we can open that folder folders empty and let's say we want to create uh, just a specific folder for die cut stickers so we'll create a folder inside there for die cut stickers and that way we're prepared uh, now for whenever we go to get our artwork we know where we're going to put it uh, so let's do that let's uh, jump on Chrome here or if you use a Microsoft browser whatever uh, go on here and you can get your artwork from anywhere I get my artwork from freepeg.com I have a subscription to them uh, there is a free um, you can get some free stuff from them uh, but if you want the majority of the good stuff you are gonna have to pay for it uh, pretty much like any of the websites but um, we're gonna use freepeg.com to get uh, our sticker pack today and I've kind of picked out this little alien I don't know it's kind of a cute cartoon space sticker collection um, it'll, it'll do good with our trace and detach later on so we're just gonna click on that I've already logged in so I can just download it and it's gonna open up a little folder where, where you would drop your folder uh, we're already in our desktop so we're gonna find our folder for new artwork double click that and we want to put it in die cut stickers so we'll double click that and then we'll save it right there okay so once you have the zip file saved you can go ahead and lower down your browser and we're gonna open up our die cut stickers folder and there it is cute cartoon space sticker collection now it's in a zip file um, you can't really use it you can open it up and see what's in it uh, but you really can't use anything out of it until you unzip that file so the way to do that is right click on the file and then I use 7-zip it's a free program but you can also hit extract all and if you hit extract all you could tell it where to put that uh, you can go back to desktop new artwork die cut stickers and tell it to put it inside there um, I prefer to use 7-zip it, it just makes everything a lot easier so I'll use 7-zip and we're gonna extract it to uh, cute cartoon space sticker collections it will create its own folder with that name and then I'll just take the zip file and put it inside that new folder so once we got the new folder we can open it up and you can click view so that uh, you can kind of see what's in there and I, I like to do the medium icons because I've got old eyes so I need it a little bit bigger but I don't want it too big so here you've got a JPEG 
Um, this is what gets downloaded in the zip file. You've got a JPEG file. You have a um, Adobe Illustrator file. And then you have a .eps file. It's an encapsulated postscript file. I've used them before, but can't really remember what it goes to. Uh, if, if, if you know, you can write it down in the comments. But most people watching this video are going to use the JPEG file. Uh, so that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do that in the next video. So I appreciate you coming and watching this. Um, make sure you like and subscribe for future videos down the road. Uh, but uh, we're, we're going to move right along in video number two on getting this into our Silhouette Studio and starting to cut it out. Thank you.